Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today. Today I wanted to go over my oh, wrong side, Giant Sephora order uh, from the last VIB sale that happened. It ran from November 5th to the 15th, depending on what level of reward you are at Sephora. So I am the top tier, so I'm Rouge. So I was able to start shopping early and I got the 20% off, which was amazing. So I just kind of want to quickly show you what I bought and go through all these products. There's actually quite a lot. This is, I think, the largest one-time Sephora order I've ever made. But I haven't actually ordered anything in a really long time, so that's kind of why I wanted to get into it. And pretty much everything that I bought that could be used on the face, I've used today. So we're going to start off with the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. And the inside looks like this. They're beautiful, beautiful pinks, mauves, purpley colors. They're all the colors I love, which is why I got it. So I'm very pleasantly surprised with this one. I have a couple of other Huda palettes that are this size that I do love as well. So at first I wasn't going to pick this one up, but I kept like looking at photos of it and I kept like watching other reviews on it and everybody who has it loved it. So I was like, I get it on sale. Why not? So very happy with this one. The second thing I picked up was a backup of the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I got one at the start of the sale and I put it up on my Instagram a couple of days ago. Absolutely love this face palette. Let me get the one that's already opened. So I have the, it came in two different versions. There's a light version and a darker version. I got the light version and I got a backup because I love it, and I heard that it was limited edition, so I didn't want to kind of be without it. So I'm going to leave this one unopened for now, and when this one runs out, which I have a feeling it's going to run out pretty quickly, I will have my backup going. So when you open it, it's got these five eye eyeshadows and then a highlighter and a cream blush. So you pretty much have everything you need to do a full face. And what I really love about it is the eyeshadows are actually labeled as to where you should put them. So this is very beginner friendly. If you're not quite sure what to do, this directs you completely. And then the blush and highlight are covered by this little flap. And when you lift it up, the blush will actually have like a little layer on top of it that you'll just kind of need to rub your finger on to get that little layer off to get to the actual cream blush. And the highlight is beautiful as well. So I really love this face palette. I'm very happy that I got it and I'm not mad that I got a backup just in case it sells out and then, you know, it's discontinued or whatever. So I have my little backup ready to go. But I just use... The cream blush with a dampened sponge on my cheeks and it was seriously the most beautiful shade of blush that I've used in a really long time. I really, really am happy with that. It's pricey, but it's really good and I hate all the fingerprints on the packaging, but whatever. The packaging itself is beautiful regardless of the little fingerprints on it. The next thing I picked up was a lip duo from Rare Beauty came in this little box. It came with a mini version and a larger version. And they are right here. So this is the full size. This is in the shade Courage. And I'm just going to swatch it for you. The other one is a mini version. So you can see them side by side. And the mini is in the shade ambition. And I really like the Rare Beauty lip mousses. They're very soft and very comfortable. So here's the shades. This is Courage on the bottom and then Ambition is on the top. It's kind of a brownie color. And they, I have very dry skin, very dry lips, but these don't dry my lips out. They don't crack or get creasy crazy. 
you know, whatever matte liquid lipsticks tend to do. They don't do that thing where you get like that weird layer here on the inside of your mouth. Super weird. So these don't do that. They're very comfortable to wear. They're a matte lip cream. Um, but they're not, you know, they don't do the things that regular matte liquid lipsticks do. So I really did like these. And I saw this little duo on sale at Sephora. So I decided to pick it up during the sale. The next thing on in the box are these acne patches that I get, Peace Out Acne. I don't break out often, but sometimes, you know, a little pimple will come up here or there. And I really like these because you just put this, you know, the little sticker on your face, go to bed, wake up, take it off, and generally the pimple is gone overnight, or at least it's, you know, smaller than it was. So I use these a lot, and my husband typically will get, you know, a little acne everywhere. So I used a couple on him last week because he had a little spot that came up on his forehead. And so since, you know, I was grabbing things on sale, repurchased. All right, the next thing in the box, I'm just going to kind of gloss over it a little bit. In the eye tutorial that I posted last week, I used my mini size of the Rare Beauty Mascara. And I like to buy minis when I can of new mascaras, just because it's usually a little bit cheaper and it's better to do that to try it out versus committing to a full-size tube. But I loved this so much that I actually went and got the full-size tube during the sale. So I'm not going to open it right now because I already have the little one open. But here's the size difference, kind of like with the lipsticks. And then I'll show you the wand on the little one. So it looks like that. And I really, like, it separates my lashes, it lengthens them, it adds volume to them, and it doesn't transfer, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't do anything weird. I don't have, like, raccoon eyes by the end of the day. So it's a very nice mascara. So I was very happy to pick up the full-size version during the sale. And the last item in the box from Rare Beauty is this trio of mini blushes. I got the set from last year's holiday, and I have them right here, actually. I still have them. They're these little minis that came in a duo last year. And I saw this, and I was like, okay. Because I believe, if I remember correctly from what I read online, the one of the shades is part of the permanent line. And two of them are just in this set. So I really like these blushes, so I thought I would pick these up. Yeah, Bliss, this one, is part of the permanent collection. And then these two, which are Peace and Hope. These two here, let me... There we go. These two are actually just in the set. Like, you cannot get full-size versions of these, according to the description of the item. So... I thought it would be nice, and I like the minis. I mean, I know they're little, but I like them because you don't need a whole lot. So the minis will last you a really long time, so it's actually not a bad purchase. So those are all the Rare Beauty items that I got. Um, I picked up a lip brush from the Sephora collection. I've never used their brushes before, but I thought it would be cool to get a little lip brush. So I got that. And then I got a couple of items from Makeup by Mario. And I've never actually tried anything from his line either, so I figured, why not? So the first thing I got was this uh, Master Eye Prep and Set. So it comes with these two creams at the top to kind of prime your eyes instead of using, you know, an actual eye primer. You'll use these two, and then this is a powder to kind of set them down. So I thought it would be really cool to try these. I haven't tried it yet, but I have seen some really good reviews on it. So I thought it would be nice to pick it up and give it a try. And then while the sale was going on, he dropped these little eye quads. And I picked up the lightest shade. This is the lightest one. It's uh, Nude 1. And it just has two mattes and two shimmers. 
so you can create little basic eye looks. So I thought that would be great too. And I'm really excited to give them a try. They swatched really beautifully when I swatched them the other night. So I'm very, very, very excited to try them out. And then um, another repurchase that I did is the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I love this one under my eyes. It sets my concealer down and it doesn't make my eyes look crazy. It's actually very good too for my dry eyes. And I love the packaging on it personally. It's got this little sifter there. And the best way I found to get it out is to actually, while it's upside down, just smack the bottom of it a couple of times. And it will actually dispense out the perfect amount of powder that you need. So you're not opening up and like powder's going everywhere. It's just, it's perfect. So I had to repurchase this while it was on sale. And then the last few items I got, let me get them out of the box. So I grabbed a couple other things from Huda Beauty as well. I grabbed the Glowish Bronzing Powder. This one is in the shade Light 01, and it's actually the bronzer I used today. And then the blush that I have on today is the Glowish Blush in the shade Healthy Peach. Very beautiful. The pan size between them are very different. I'll show you guys side by side. So they're very, very different, but in my opinion, in my mind, this is fine because you will use way more bronzer to do your face than you do blush, typically, since, you know, your bronzer goes all over your forehead and on your cheeks and whatnot, and blush pretty much just goes, you know, on your cheeks. The highlight that I'm wearing today is actually the highlight from the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So these are the Huda items that I got, and these aren't anything new. These came out a while ago, but I hadn't bought them, and I really wanted to try them. So I waited for the sale, and I picked them up during the sale. And then the last two items that I have are what I'm wearing for concealer and foundation today. So I grabbed the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. It just came out not that long ago, and it's a dropper. And it's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. So there's the consistency of it. And it's very beautiful. And the directions tell you to bounce it in with the Beauty Blender, but I feel like the sponge would really just soak all of it up because it's so thin. And it's, it's basically a tinted moisturizer. So I applied it with a brush, and it gave me great coverage. It covered everything I needed it to cover, and it looks really, really good. Like, my skin doesn't look terrible right now. And then the concealer that I grabbed is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. And the shade that I got is a little bit darker than what I typically use for concealer, but it's not terrible, and I'm able to work with it very easily. And it covered all my dark circles. It looks great under the eyes. I really, really do like it. And I'm glad that I picked it up. I'm also glad I waited for the sale as well. Um, for this concealer, it's very thick. So what I typically do with concealer is I'll just use the wand directly under my eyes. But I didn't this time. I put a little on the back of my hand. And I let it sit there for like a minute or so. And then from there, I applied it from the back of my hand, and it seemed to work out very well. So if you have this one or are thinking about getting it, that's a good tip to try if using it directly from the wand is not working out for you. So that is everything that I got in the box. I spent a lot of money, shouldn't have done it, but I really wanted to try these products out. Pretty much for the most part wearing all of them on my face today, except the lipstick is something different that wasn't in the box. So let me know down below if you are interested in any of these products or tell me about your most recent Sephora order and we could talk about it. And thank you guys so much again for watching. I will see you in the next one.